हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी बिगिन्स विथ द टॉपिक ऑफ कार्डियोवास्कुलर फिजियोलॉजी एंड इट्स हार्ट साउंड्स डेफिनेशन ऑफ हार्ट साउंड्स दीज आर साउंड्स ऑफ ब्रीफ ड्यूरेशन विच हर्ट ड्यूरिंग कार्डियक साइकिल वॉट एवर द साउंड्स ऑफ ब्रीफ ड्यूरेशन वी आर हियरिंग ड्यूरिंग द कार्डियक साइकिल दीज ऑल आर नोन एज हार्ट साउंड्स मैथड्स direct hearing not so clear with the help of stethoscope first two sounds we are going to hear very well and with the help of phonocardiogram all four heart sounds are heard so there are total four heart sounds normal heart sounds listening with a stethoscope to a normal heart one hears the sound usually described as lup dub lup dub the lup is associated with the closure of atrioventricular valves at the beginning of the systole now you have to correlate these events of the heart sound with the events of the cardiac cycle then and only you will understand the heart sound in much better way so the lup sound is associated with the closure of atrioventricular valves at the beginning of the systole the dub is associated with the closure of semilunar valves at the end of the systole so this is just the informal ways to speak about whatever we are hearing lup dub lup dub like that the lup is the first heart sound s1 or hs1 and the dub is the second heart sound hs2 because the normal cardiac cycle is considered to start with beginning of systole when atrioventricular valve close to understand these two lines you must have to visit my video on the topic of cardiac cycle first try to visit that video and later try to come over this topic now first heart sound s1 or hs1 cause closure of atrioventricular valves there are two atrioventricular valves mitral valves in between left atria and left ventricle and tricuspid valves in between right atria and right ventricle so cause of the first heart sound closure of atrioventricular valves and which are the atrioventricular valves mitral valve and tricuspid valve timing at the onset of ventricular systole pitch low quality soft duration 0.14 seconds it's a long sound frequency 25 to 45 hertz ecg it coincides with the peak of r wave to understand this topic you must have to learn what is ecg and you must have to understand the different waves of the ecg for this please try to visit my video on the electrocardiogram or ecg i later try to come to this topic it can be identified by its long duration so whatever the sound which is of long duration we considered as a first start sound based heard in the mid clavicular line of fifth intercostal space in the left side it coincide with the apex beat and carotid pulse and it comes after a long pause so these are the characteristics of the first start sound now what is the significance of first start sound it indicates the force of ventricular contraction it gives rough guide for commencement of the ventricular systole it indicates the conditions of mitral and tricuspid valves for example in mitral stenosis tricuspid stenosis s1 or the first start sound is loud it also indicates the condition of myocardia in myocarditis s1 is weak second heart sound or hs2 cause closure of semilunar valves there are two semilunar valves aortic and pulmonary semilunar valves timing at the onset of ventricular diastole pitch high quality hers duration 0.1 second and it's short and snappy sound frequency 50 hertz and ecg usually coincides with the end of t wave base third in right and left second intercostal space in the parasternal line 
it occurs after the apex beat and carotid pulse it is followed by long pause it is also followed by long pause so these are the characteristics of the second heart sound now what is the significance of second heart sound it indicates the end of ventricular systole and the onset of ventricular diastole two components of the s2 or the second heart sound first one aortic component a2 and second one pulmonary component p2 during the deep inspiration the venous return and the right ventricular filling is increased and its ejection time is prolonged so due to this appearance of p2 pulmonary second heart sound is therefore delayed so this is the reason why there is splitting in atrial septal disease there is wide and fixed splitting of second heart sound so these are significance of the second heart sound now third heart sound caused by vibrations of ventricular wall due to inrushing of blood from the atria so when the blood enters from atria inside the ventricle whatever the sound is produced this is the reason behind the third heart sound timing heard at the beginning of the middle one third of the diastole pitch low duration 0.04 seconds frequency very low ecg it's in between t and p waves it can be heard in those subjects who have a very good venous return those who are doing exercise regularly as well as thin chest wall for example in children the third heart sound is best heard in the mitral area in upright position with the bell part of the stethoscope if anyone is don't know about what is the bell and where the bell part of the stethoscope is located please try to visit my video on the clinical instruments significance third heart sound in patient with heart disease is usually a grave sign and presence of third heart sound very clear or clear suggests ventricular gallop sound or gallop rhythm this occurs in left ventricular failure right ventricular failure and congestive cardiac failure as well as acute myocardial infection now fourth heart sound caused by vibration set up during atrial systole which coincides with the last rapid filling phase of the ventricular diastole now again i am telling you if you don't understand with this last rapid filling phase of the ventricular diastole or during the atrial systole please see cardiac cycle video first and later try to come to this topic pitch low duration 0.03 seconds frequency 3 hertz ecg between p and q waves significance of the fourth heart sound when it is present it produces pathological atrial gallop rhythm this occurs in acute myocardial infection and acute myocarditis so i hope up to this now you are able to understand the cause and significance of first second third and fourth heart sound now applied physiology murmurs what do you mean by murmurs murmurs are the sound of long duration which are heard during the cardiac cycle these are classified as systolic murmur and diastolic murmur early systolic murmur in pulmonary and aortic stenosis mid systolic murmur in mitral and tricuspid stenosis and pan systolic murmur in mitral and tricuspid regurgitation diastolic murmurs early diastolic murmur in pulmonary and aortic regurgitation and uh, mid diastolic murmur in tricuspid and mitral stenosis now what is the clinical significance of murmur they always suggest some pathological condition of the heart 
depending upon its location cardiological murmur is extremely helpful in the diagnosis of various vascular lesions so this is the clinical significance of murmur and what is murmur these murmurs are the sounds of long duration which heard during the cardiac cycle these are absolutely abnormal sounds now the second one gallop rhythm the third heart sound is heard in left ventricular failure right ventricular failure and congestive cardiac failure as well as acute myocardial infection this is known as gallop rhythm now the last one adventitious sounds first one opening snap in mitral stenosis a steep valve snaps into the left ventricle in early diastole so this is adventitious sound and uh, it is opening snap in the mitral stenosis patients second one ejection high pitch sound occurring in the stenosis of aortic or pulmonary valve this sounds occurs in the systole part and prosthetic valve sounds this is artificial valve opening of prosthetic valve can be heard so these all are adventitious sounds four cardiac areas mitral area tricuspid area aortic area and pulmonary area mitral area is located left fifth intercostal space in mid clavicular line or just inner to the mid clavicular line or at the level of apex bit tricuspid area it is located left fifth intercostal space at the lower end of the sternum aortic area it is located right second intercostal space about 2 cm away from the sternum and pulmonary area is located left second intercostal space 2 cm away from the sternum over the mitral area and tricuspid area you will hear the first heart sound and over the aortic area and pulmonary area you will hear the second heart sound so first heart sound due to the closure of atrioventricular valve right atrioventricular valve is known as tricuspid valve and left atrioventricular valve is known as mitral valve so on this mitral area and tricuspid area we will able to hear the first heart sound and the second heart sound is due to the closure of aortic and pulmonary semilunar valve so on the aortic area and pulmonary area we are able to hear the second heart sound i hope now you understand about the heart sounds and its applied aspect if you like this presentation please try to share with your friends group batch and colleagues